Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube. And in this video, we're taking a quick look at this 49 key MIDI controller from Acorn Instruments. Now, one of the main reasons why we're interested in this product is mainly because of its low price of $79.99, which is a really competitive price when we start comparing it to other 49 key MIDI controllers. But the keyboard that we're looking at offers a little more functionality in terms of knobs and controls than you would find in a typical low budget MIDI controller. So if you take a look at the left hand side of the device, we have a couple of controls that offers a little bit more functionality that you'd find in a typical MIDI controller of this price point. Starting from the very top we have four fully programmable knobs that you can assign depending on what DAW you're using to whatever parameters that you want. Next we have a very basic three digit LCD display that'll give you just some basic information on what your parameter values are on your hardware based controls. Below the display we have three buttons that you can program functions such as octave transpose, program change, and MIDI channel. On the left side of the buttons you have a master programmable fader. So with this you can actually assign functions functionalities such as track volume or master volume. And lastly, at the very bottom of the keyboard, you have two programmable wheels that you can assign different functionalities by default, their pitch and modulation. And of course, just like most standard pitch wheels, it actually will automatically go back to its zero position. And of course, like most things, the modulation wheel on this keyboard will stay at any position you want. Now, of course, one of the most important things in any MIDI controller is going to be the responsiveness of the individual keys. And I do have to say that this MIDI controller is definitely up there with MIDI controllers that cost five to four hundred dollars. Uh, anything higher probably will have a little bit better and more durable key response feedbacks. But overall, it's very good. It still gives you that nice tactile feedback that you would have with any decent keyboard. And it's still velocity sensitive and has most of the standard features that you would expect off of most MIDI keyboard controllers. Now, of course, it's important to realize this is about $20 cheaper than most of your cheapest controllers that you would find from M-Audio and Behringer. But really, it just adds some more basic controls that you would typically find on more higher end MIDI controllers. But the biggest issue I have with this keyboard deals with the driver support. Unfortunately, there are no drivers whatsoever available for this keyboard. Now, of course, this is a universally accepted USB device, so you shouldn't need it. But in the rare case that your computer does not recognize the keyboard, which some people have experienced, but in that case, you can't really do anything about it because there are no drivers available. And perhaps Acorn Instruments will develop some kind of driver and put that on their website. But for the time being, that's not available, of course, for most scenarios you won't need the driver but it's always good to have that option anyways but overall i think this is a really interesting midi controller i think it's probably one of the better ones if you're on a super tight budget and you can't spend over a hundred dollars i think this is definitely better than some of the m audio and behringer solutions that are around the hundred dollar price if you have maybe 30 to 40 to 50 dollars more i would definitely recommend going with a higher end usb controller but overall this will do the job for most of your musical applications but other than that guys thank you so much for watching if you have any specific questions Questions about this keyboard please leave it on a comment down below and also in the comments if you can tell me what kind of keyboard that you guys use I'm really interested if any of you guys use any kind of MIDI keyboard controllers and uh, which one do you prefer if you have an unlimited budget and which one do you currently have so it'll just give me a kind of a good idea in terms of what you guys are using and what you guys kind of like so uh, please leave that on a comment down below and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later take care